weeks of music, Shotgun Chuck Skankle. Hey folks, it's Cliff Kitsy Boy Smith coming back to you with another video. <clears throat> it's been a while since I shot a video and, and actually put it up on YouTube. I've actually shot a few of them over the last couple of months and haven't uh, had whatever it takes to, <laughs> to edit them and, and actually throw them up. So uh, <clears throat> everybody's been uh, excited over this kit. If you're a fan of the show Supernatural, you know. But this is Baby, the 1967 uh, Chevy Impala, <clears throat> and this is my version of it. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, she's nothing to write home about, but uh, I did want to build one and uh, show my own rendition of it. I think she came out pretty good. Uh, <clears throat> I learned a few things while making it. It's actually a, it's a really fun car, and uh, didn't take too much to put together. I put this, I got this last Friday, and here we are Monday, uh, the day after Father's Day, and happy late Father's Day by the way. The day after Father's Day, and, and she's done. <clears throat> well, 99.9% .9 done. So if you see anything on it that needs to be done, then you know where the 0.1% is. But absolutely, it's 99.9% .9 done. Yeah, uh, I've actually been a pretty big fan of the show Supernatural since uh, actually was the first episode, and I saw this car. <clears throat> but uh, uh, it's basically the uh, the same. Uh, it's basically the the, the kit. Um, I only did a few modifications. There's a few things that I looked out for. Um, thank goodness I had a few people on Facebook who. Uh, pointed out the pitfalls that I was looking forward to before I got too far into it. But, uh, <clears throat> one thing I noticed straight away is uh, in the short and still pictures, uh, it is a big block 427. Uh, it's kind of the same as, as the two-door kit, the uh, SS, which I made the cash the wheelman car out of. But, uh, <clears throat> but uh, it is a, a manual, so uh, that was the first thing I noticed, and I was like, well, I can't have a <laughs> column shift in, in the manual, so I was like, what can I do to, to rectify that? And I thought that I have a 67, uh, sorry, 64 Impala, the Revell 64 Impala, and that does have a 327 and an automatic transmission. So I thought to myself, I wonder if that, uh, you know, I'll try it, this will be the guinea pig, because I got two of these kits now. Kind of lopped that transmission off and and made it to the 427 on here, and it pretty much cut off like butter. Just cut off the transmission from this motor and and uh, made it up with the uh, with the motor under the hood here. Right. And the motor is wired. It's not like super detailed or anything. Uh, the intake actually the intake comes from the kit. The uh, carburetor and air cleaner those are from the 64 Impala kit and I did uh, custom make my own uh, breather there for the uh, for the valve cover there and this time I did remember to put the uh, the brake master cylinder in it <laughs> and the interior is done up like the TV show uh, for some reason I've been loving the uh, the plastic dip to me it looks it looks just like you know, vinyl seats, or if you want to make a bed liner, or things of that nature. Uh, to me, it looks pretty good. It looks like it, uh, it's got the sheen to it, and if you touch it, it actually feels kind of soft. So, uh, <clears throat> that's how I did my exhaust. Uh, and those big old resonators on the back. So, I saw a few shots in the show. I mean, sometimes it has tailpipes that come all the way out the back, and then other times it stops right here. I kind of like the, uh, the tailpipes there, so. I cut the resonators off and plastic welded the, the, 
you know, the tip of the tailpipe where the uh, resonator came off. And there we go. Those uh, tailpipes. Uh, actually finished polishing this yesterday and uh, snapping it together. Oh, and we're going over the pitfalls of uh, of the kit. One thing I don't know if everybody's going to have this, but I. I one fellow model who was on uh, Facebook pointed out that he wasn't able to get the body to stay on this thing straight because uh, of the glass. <clears throat> one major thing that I had to do, I guess you'd say, and I'll put up a picture of it with uh, pointing it out. Uh, I had cut quite a bit of, of, uh, of the glass off the vent windows. And kind of shape it. Once that was done, it was... It was pretty good, but uh, <clears throat> I noticed that the interior didn't sink all the way down in either, so the sides of the interior, like the part that's facing this door and facing that door on the other side, I kind of filed it and shaped it down until it was slim enough to fit between, uh, between the doors there, and the whole thing slid down. And I didn't have to do too much to the back. I think, actually, uh, the back of the package shelf, like the very uh, back edge, where um, we can't even see it. I had already painted it, but I just uh, filed that down and that kind of made it sit down a little bit more on the back. Um, overall, I think it's a really good kit. There's a few things that I would do differently on the second one if I decide to make a, you know, another another uh, Supernatural Impala. Uh, one thing is, I like the wheels, but the tires just don't seem like they're too, like the like the as big as the ones on the TV show. They're not, fat enough. The front ones are fine. The back ones I feel like I, it could have been a little bigger. <clears throat> uh, second thing, um, I'd have to exercise my skills in, in doing suspension but I would bring the suspension down the front and back just a little bit more so that I, in the show the uh, rear end is always just a little bit more over that, that back wheel and the front is a little lower. Sometimes it has a little bit of a nose high stance but you know, it's a movie car, a TV car, so there's multiple ones that are used on the show, so not everyone's going to be exactly this or exactly that. So. There's no one way to do it, do it the way you want to do it. If you don't want to do it that way, don't do it in the first place. <laughs> anyway, do what you want to do. Enjoy it. And if you don't enjoy it, don't do it. So, uh, the paint is Duplicolor Universal Black with a Duplicolor Clear. So basically it's, uh, and it's a, uh, alright, so from the primer to the clear coat, it's all Duplicolor. Uh, it was, uh, Prime Duplicolor Hot Rod Black and then Universal Black Duplicolor and then Clear Coated uh, Clear Coated uh, put about I'd say about three or four coats on it um, <clears throat> starting light and then spraying the mess out of it on the last one <laughs> and uh, I wait about three days three or four days I don't remember how long exactly it was I think I painted it on I painted it on Thursday and cleared it on Friday. No, I painted it on Wednesday, something like that, and then I clear coated it. I waited a few days before I before I polished it. But, um, the shine, I feel like it's it's not like a like super show winner shine, but uh, the car is supposed to be a used car in the show anyway, and it, it's a beautiful car, but it's you know it's used, and uh, that's the way I did mine. Uh, I noticed also that uh, on the show and in still pictures that it had uh, this little radio antenna on it, so I wanted to put that on this one too. But, uh, I don't need to go on too much more about it. I mean, uh, it took me this week to uh, to complete it. Uh, basically, uh, it arrived uh, a week ago from this past Friday, and this whole whole all last week I picked away at it, got painting done. Uh, motor work, everything was done over there. Uh, you know, this week. is a good kit for um, anything you want to do with it. It's very rare you get a hold of a, uh, you know, four door, anything except maybe the Monaco, this and the, uh, that Lindbergh, uh, police interceptor Ford. Oh yeah, and the uh, even the uh, AMT one, I guess the seventy Ford. But uh, here's a comparison of. The, Cash the Wheel Man uh, versus the uh, Supernatural Impala. I think if when I do it again, or if I do it again, I would take these tires, these Fall Ball Model Works tires, 
and put these on here. Just to me, that look like they have, might be a little better or sort of uh, the BF Goodrich. I think those are the ones they use on the show. Anyway, we've gone on long enough about this. Um, I think I'll show a picture of what my next project is going to be. And uh, I'm going to wrap it up. But I definitely appreciate you guys tuning in. Hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Hope you had a nice holiday. Father's Day. <laughs> and I uh, hope you all enjoy the day. And if you got this kit, uh, you know, remember the pitfalls that I, I went over. Uh, you might not encounter them, but if you do, at least you know how to, how to jump over them. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate you watching my channel. And I uh, thank you for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Y'all take care and stay safe. Coming soon to KBCC Garage. Watch your speed. He's coming for you. It's Hell Cop. Son of a bitch. Coming 2020.